Welcome student uh, in this CET lecture. So as per uh, your sequence, uh, according to the new syllabus, uh, what we are going to study in this uh, lecture, uh, not student uh, we have, uh, to study in detail in this lecture, but I want to revise whatever uh, we have studied uh, in uh, previous uh, regular lecture. Means I, I was provided uh, uh, the video of this today's lecture uh, and in that lecture they we are studied uh, in detail but here in this just uh, I want to revi revise uh, with the help of uh, the simple diagrams okay so in this uh, lecture student uh, uh, we are going to uh, revise in brief the development of male gametophyte in angiosperm so see the development development of male male gametophyte okay development of male gametophyte so see the development of male gametophyte what we have studied just to remind uh, what we have studied uh, in development of male gametophyte uh, remember student in angiosperm the male gametophyte uh, they are developed at the two sites okay at the two sites what are those sites the first site it is inside inside the anther lobe or in the pollen site so the first site okay inside the first site we have to say uh, the first site okay first site uh, inside okay inside inside the anther lobe Okay, inside the anther lobe or inside the pollen sac. Pollen sac. Actually, it is the express inside the pollen sac. So, uh, what happened inside the pollen sac during the male gametophyte development? This is the first step. So, inside the pollen sac, what happened? Just after uh, the meiotic division, okay, just after the meiotic division, what we have? We have the haploid pollen grains and that haploid pollen grains whatever the structure they have that haploid pollen grains student they are unicellular uninucleated and as uh, well they are haploid okay we are studied so that pollen grain they are having the exine okay exine they are having the entine okay entine and they are having this centrally placed haploid nucleus they are having a haploid okay and this is the uh, the cell cytosol and uh, as usual this pollen grain they are having the, these germ pores so such a type of uh, the haploid pollen grain we have inside uh, the pollen sac we are studying uh, how that pollen grains are generated inside the pollen sac that process it is called as a microsporogenesis then inside this haploid pollen grain student uh, the post Okay, post mitotic division, post mitotic division, they express, and there is a formation of uh, the two unequal size cells. Okay, there is a formation of the two unequal size cells. So, as usual, these are the exine and in time. Okay, student, uh, these, are, uh, these are the, yes, it is, this is the exine, okay, exine, and this is the entine and because of the first okay because of the first mitotic division there is a formation of the two unequal size cells the larger cell okay larger cell that larger cell uh, it is called as the vegetative cell or it is also called as the tube cell uh, this vegetative cell or the tube cell okay this vegetative cell or the tube cell so this is student this is the vegetative cell okay vegetative cell or it is also called as a tube cell so we have studied that okay and this uh, what is the characteristic feature of this vegetative cell or the tube cell this tube cell student they are larger in size and these cells are naked okay why it is the naked because this tube cell they are not having its own uh, this cell uh, wall and the cell membrane uh, it is surrounded by the pollen 
exine and the intine okay so uh, and they are having uh, this such a type of the lobed okay lobed nucleus so this vegetative cell it is always larger student so all this question will be there uh, uh, with respect to the size of that cell then another cell it is a smaller cell and that smaller cell uh, it is called as uh, the generative cell so this is the generative cell so this generative cell they are having this nucleus okay they are, this is the nucleus of generative cell and all this is the cell cytosol of that generative cell remember uh, this generative cell they are having its own membrane but they are not having its own wall okay and this generative cell they float freely in this cell cytosol of this vegetative cell or the tube cell so remember uh, this vegetative cell or the tube cell they are having a lot of food material because that vegetative cell or the tube cell uh, they take part in the further development of the pollen tube so they have a lot of food material but the generative cell comparatively uh, when we compare this with the vegetative cell they are not having okay they are not having the uh, that much amount of the food material so this generative cell one more characteristic feature of the generative cell the generative cell uh, they are little elongated and uh, they uh, they uh, externally shows uh, the worm like appearance and they freely float inside the cell cytosol of vegetative cell so such a type of student such a type of the two cell stage pollen okay this is the two celled stage okay stage pollen okay this two cell stage pollen uh it is the first step uh of the male gametophyte development and uh it is takes place inside the pollen sac okay it is takes place inside the pollen sac so such a two cell stage pollen uh they are released from the anther lobe in maximum plants okay maximum plants the pollen they release from the anther lobe at a two cell stage and what are that two cell stage the vegetative cell or tube cell and another cell it is a generative cell then the next site of the male gametophyte development it is uh takes place over the stigmatic surface but before uh, that one more information student uh in some plant in few plants uh inside the pollen sac this generative cell they divide through a one mitotic division and there is a formation of the two non motile male gamete inside that same pollen okay so in some cases the pollens they are also released at a three cell stage but this is a rare occurrence and what is the common occurrence the pollen grains they are released at a two cell stage so you remember student so as per your syllabus Uh, we have to consider the pollen they are released at a two cell stage then the next site uh, will be uh, the pollination means uh, the next site of development of male gametophyte it is over the stigmatic surface so remember just after release of the two cell stage pollen that pollen it is carried by the pollinating agent and they achieve the pollination so uh, the next site will be Uh, over the stigmatic surface, so over the stigma after pollination. So second site, okay, second site, okay, second site. Uh, what is that second site? Uh, it is takes place over, okay, over stigma, okay, over stigma, over stigma uh, after pollination, okay, after pollination, over stigma. after pollination so this is a student the second site of uh, the further development of male gametophyte so uh, see the sequential event so suppose this is uh, the female reproductive organ uh, uh, we uh, called that the carpel okay uh, this carpel single carpel uh, it is having stigma style and ovary okay so stigma style and ovary Uh, so this is the female uh, reproductive organ okay this is the stigma stigma this is style and this is ovary 
okay and inside the ovary what is situated student uh, there is a situation of uh, the ovule so the ovule it is present inside the ovary then this pollen grain in the next step such a two cell stage pollen they are adhered to the stigmatic surface they are having the two cells okay so such type of mechanism it is called as a pollination mechanism you know that we have studied uh, this in detail in previous videos uh, then this pollen two cell stage pollen uh, what they what happen here this stigmatic surface okay stigmatic surface they recognize the compatible pollen and uh, so because of that the pollen they adhere over the stigmatic surface and they germinate there in the sense uh, they absorb the moisture okay from this stigmatic surface and uh, when they absorb the moisture from this stigmatic surface what happens to them uh, the content of uh, the pollen okay content of the pollen they swell down okay increase uh, the quantity of the content of pollen and because of that means what the cell cytosol the amount of cell cytosol they are increases inside the pollen and so because of that uh, this uh, the this entire okay entire of the pollen uh, that protoplasm okay that protoplasm they exert the pressure from the inside to outside over the entire and because of this the entire they protrude out through a germ pore and they form okay they form uh, the uh, pollen tube okay they form the pollen tube okay pollen tube so the tube like structure it is developed uh, from the pollen grain that tube like structure it is called as the pollen tube uh, so this pollen tube so this is actually this is exine okay this is exine this is entine okay this is entine and as well this is the uh, this is the two cell stage another cell yeah uh, this is the another cell suppose this is uh, the vegetative cell okay this is the vegetative cell and this is the generative cell okay this is the generative cell student remember uh, i will give the information as far as uh, the cet point of view is concerned uh, the question arises why uh, why not from these uh, remaining two germ pores the pollen tube emerges uh, or they are protruded out remember student when the pressure develop inside because of that pressure from these uh, all these three from all these three germ pores the pollen tube they protrude out okay Pro, uh, pollen tube they protrude out but uh, remember uh, the germ pore the germ pore which are facing towards the stigmatic surface okay that uh, from that germ pore the pollen tube is developed that pollen tube they immediately come in contact with the stigmatic surface and they insert immediately in the stigmatic surface so uh, in that growing pollen tube uh, the content of pollen tube it is transferred and uh, the content of pollen tube they never transfer towards the remaining two pollen tube okay remaining po two pollen tube uh, so that pollen tube they are unable to grow further and only uh, one pollen tube they show this growth for achieving the fertilization so you remember students so this is the pollen tube then this growth of the pollen tube it is takes place uh, towards the ovary through stylar tissue so uh, the next one okay the next step it is uh, there is a growth of the pollen tube okay there is a growth of the pollen tube so it is takes place uh, towards the ovary through the, that stylar tissue okay through that stylar tissue so remember the who take part in the formation of pollen tube the entire of pollen tube they take part in the formation of pollen tube so remember there will be a question uh, uh, what is the uh, chemical constituents of that pollen tube pollen tube wall so that pollen tube wall it is made up of uh, the cellulose and pectic substances because that pollen tube it is formed from 
the intine of pollen. So uh, see, uh, as usual, this is the exine. Okay, this is exine, and this is the intine. Then uh, uh, the firstly, this vegetative nucleus they move further because the vegetative cell uh, they take part. So this is the vegetative nucleus. Okay, this is the vegetative nucleus or the tube nucleus, and it is followed by the entry of this generative cell. Okay, the, the entry of this generative generative cell okay or that uh, entry of the generative nucleus and it is followed by the entry of uh, the all pollen content okay all pollen content i was mentioned in that video in previous video that uh, all the content of pollen tube it is enter inside the pollen tube and uh, uh, all the content of pollen grain they enter inside the pollen tube and so because of that the pollen grain they become empty uh, or they remain empty over the stigmatic surface and later uh, in the stage of development that pollen they dislocate from its position they fall down and they are not having any uh, role as far as uh, the further uh, the fertilization or the development of uh, the male gametophyte process is concerned then next uh, uh, it is the most important thing in the next division it is a one mitotic division so this is student uh, this is the first mitotic division okay this is the first mitotic division so see this is the first mitotic division and here it is a second mitotic division so this is the second mitosis okay in the generative cell okay in the generative cell so uh, there is a final organization of the male gametophyte student. So uh, this is uh, the pollen and the formed pollen tube, the growth of that pollen tube, it is takes place more uh, uh, inside the stylar tissue towards the ovary. And when this generative cell they divides through mitosis, second mitosis, there is a formation of the two non-motile male gametes. And remember student, when that, okay, uh, when that uh, pollen tube they reach near to the ovule or um, that means when they enter inside the ovary and they reach near to the ovule this uh, vegetative nucleus or it is also called a tube nucleus that tube nucleus uh, they get degenerate so this is the degenerating okay degenerating or uh, tube nucleus and what is remain behind this is the cell cytosol of the pollen tube the entire content it is enter inside so this is the cytoplasm okay this is the cytoplasm student and these are the two okay these are the two uh, non-motile male gametes so these are the two uh, male, okay, these are the two male gametes. Okay, these are the two male gametes and this is, as usual, this is the empty pollen. Okay, this is the empty pollen. Okay, they are not having its own role. So student, this is the final uh, de uh, developed finally developed male gametophyte. So what is the structure of male gametophyte of angiosperm student? The pollen tube with the two non-motile male gametes and its own cytoplasm. This is the structure of male gametophyte of the angiosperm. So uh, there will be a question uh, for the formation of male gametophyte in angiosperm how much mitotic divisions are required to see student how much mitotic divisions are required the first and second so the two mitotic divisions are required and uh, there is a uh, question when uh, the for the formation of male gametophyte okay for the formation of male gametophyte in angiosperm uh, right from uh, the microspore mother cell how much meiotic and mitotic divisions are required so remember how much meiotic and mitotic divisions are required this cell uh, this pollen grain for the formation of pollen grain there is a requirement of the one meiotic division and right from this pollen grain up to development of that the male gametophyte 
uh, how much mitotic divisions are required the two mitotic divisions are required uh, so student uh, right from the mmc up to the formation of the entire male gametophyte how much meiotic and mitotic divisions are required the one meiotic and two mitotic divisions are required so this is in brief uh, uh, what is meant by the development of male gametophyte in angiosperm so now student uh, we will uh, move towards the mcqs based on this today's topic so see uh, the few mcqs uh, student uh, these mcqs yesterday uh, i had provided uh, the mcqs on this topic so you see that mcqs uh, sequentially see uh, the mcqs Uh, as per uh, this uh, MCQ reference book, uh, the MCQ number thirty nine. Okay, MCQ number thirty nine. Because uh, the previous MCQs uh, we have solved uh, in the previous video. So in this uh, uh, the video or in this uh, lecture, uh, we are going to solve the MCQs from uh, the number thirty nine. So uh, the question number thirty nine. See the question number thirty nine. The tube cell and generative cell are formed from the pollen grain in. Okay, uh, so the tube cell and generative cell are formed from the pollen grain in. So see uh, this tube cell. Okay, this uh, this tube cell and this is the generative cell. It is formed from. Pollen grain, okay. It is formed from this pollen grain. How much uh, mitotic divisions are required, or which division is required? So, with respect to this, the options are given. The first option it is first mitotic division. Second option second mitotic division. Third option first meiotic division, and uh, fourth option second meiotic division. So, what is the answer, uh, student? Uh, it is uh, the requirement of the first mitotic division so what is the answer the first option is your answer okay first option is your answer then uh, see the question number 40 okay question number 40 uh, this chemically the sporopollenin is chemically the sporopollenin is so remember what is the sporopollenin the sporopollenin it is highly resistant a uh, non biodegradable uh, substance uh, it is formed due to release of the ubisc bodies from the tapetum okay due to release of the ubisc bodies from the tapetum so uh, with respect to that uh, there is a question chemically the sporopollenin is what is that sporopollenin uh, the option uh, given there first option it is uh the protein second option fatty substance third option lignin and fourth option it is the carbohydrate so remember that sporopollenin it is uh the fatty substance so it is a uh, resistant to chemical and they are non biodegradable so uh, they are made up of the fatty substances okay second option is your answer and then uh, student next one uh, the next question the pollen tube is covered by a membrane made of pollen tube is covered by a membrane made of uh, so the pollen tube uh, just i was mentioned so who forms the pollen tube student here the pollen tube who forms Uh, the intine of pollen grain they forms the pollen tube okay intine of pollen grain they forms the pollen tube so intine it is made up of uh, the cellulose and pectic substances so automatically uh, the pollen wall of pollen tube it is uh, it is formed from the cellulose and pectic substances see here uh, the question uh, the pollen tube is covered by a membrane made of first option pectocellulose second option sporopollenin third option cellulose and fourth option lignocellulose so what is student uh, so surely it is pectocellulose so here uh, we are uh, 
studied uh, the development of male gamete fight in brief we are revised in brief but uh, here we are revised all the events in detail uh, and also on this we are solved uh, the three mcqs uh, remaining mcqs uh, we are going to solve in next lecture so uh, now uh, we will stop at this moment